Hello, my name is Kristina Varsova and currently I'm a second year student of Tourism Management Program at Dinhon University. And in this video, I would like to present a project that I have been working on in the past few months. This project focuses on visitor management in the city of Arnhem with the intention of providing recommendations aimed at the City Council and Tourism Board of Arnhem on how to manage incoming tourists in a sustainable way. Moreover, it also presents possible solutions on how to attract more people to visit the city of Arnhem and how to form a unique selling point that would contribute to the city's marketing strategy. In order to fully dive into this issue and to really get to know the city, a study trip has been organized in the city of Arnhem where the research was evaluated. Our tasks were to conduct interviews with distinctive groups of people in order to get different points of views. My group decided to focus on three most important elements and those are local inhabitants, incoming visitors and business partners. Each team member had to conduct 15 surveys with local people, two interviews with visitors that have been to Arnhem and one stakeholder interview with tourism related company that he was assigned. This way, we have enough sufficient data to analyze and we are able to perceive the issue from different perspectives. Regarding the research itself, I must say it went quite smoothly. We were able to conduct those 15 surveys with locals really quickly. Partially because of the level of friendliness by the local people, but also because of their level of English which was mostly sufficient enough to understand the survey questions. Whereas visitor interviews were a little bit more difficult. As a result of corona restrictions, there were very few tourists. Therefore, we decided to interview our classmates since they have also been to Arnhem as visitors. The only part of the research that I found challenging was finding a stakeholder to interview. Many companies we contacted simply haven't replied at all or just refused to have the interview. As a consequence of this, most of us reached out to the organization on the spot and then we were able to either do the interview right away or send the interview questions via email. So at the end of the day, we were all able to accomplish our tasks. Welcome back, it's me again. It has been around three weeks since we arrived from Arnhem, meaning we have had enough time to analyze our data. We divided the workload amongst each other equally, therefore we were able to finish our tasks on time. I personally was responsible for analyzing the quantitative data, which in our case were surveys with local inhabitants. For that, I used the SPSS tool based on the way we were taught during research classes. I must admit that working with SPSS definitely was not easy. Since these classes were given ahead of time, a lot of information has been forgotten. However, thanks to professional guidance, good planning and mutual encouragement, all researchers were able to focus on the project and deliver their results on time. Since this is an advice-based research, our main goal was to provide recommendations to the city regarding the development of a sustainable visitor policy. Our key finding was that even though Arnhem itself has a big potential as a touristy destination, the city seems to be failing in forming its own identity. 
due to the fact that Arnhem is being promoted from different angles, people do not associate Arnhem as a popular touristic destination. The city focuses on diverse themes ranging from the history of World War II through a city of fashion and design to marketing Arnhem as a family-friendly destination. Instead of that, we suggest focusing on one unique selling point rather than multiple themes. Therefore, our advice is to embrace what the city is already known for and that is fashion. In Arnhem, there is a big University of Arts, meaning there are a lot of young talents who can be employed in companies related to tourism or any art and marketing organization in exchange for free promotion of the city. This would boost the awareness of Arnhem as a touristic destination, as well as help the local economy by creating more job opportunities. So that's about it. Thank you for watching this video. And if you have any tips on how to manage visitors in Arnhem, please leave me a comment. Bye bye.